Today on Slot Car Clubhouse, I'd like to show you a new class of slot cars that's gaining real popularity here. Of course, for some time now, we've been running the Carrera Digital 132 cars and the H&R chassis based cars with model kit bodies, like these, as our club racers. And we'll be going to Memphis this weekend to uh, practice for a race uh, with 132 uh, NSR GTs. And soon we plan a Le Mans race for Carrera 124 Digital. But here's what's on the menu today. Uh, these are JK 132 cars. We have them in both the angle widener version and the direct drive. Direct drive is unique in that it uses no gears. It uses a very powerful motor that derives the wheels directly. They drive differently, but we find on our on our track, they get near identical lap times. Very interesting cars. Let's take a closer look. So let's do a quick track test comparison between a JK Steel angle winder and a Carrera Digital 132. The Carrera is the way we like to run them in the club clubhouse, which is with uh, Paul Gage uh, rear tires, true front tires, and the rear magnet removed, the center magnet in place. The car still has quite a bit of magnetic downforce, but it's a little more forgiving to drive with the rear magnet out. The JK steel chassis car has no magnets and foam rear tires, uh, almost no front wheels. We'll run both cars in analog mode on our 65 foot um, Grand Prix track. Here we go, you'll hear the lap times as we go. 200, 5.486. 5.486. 5.0862. 4.948. 9. Excellent time for a Carrera Digital 124, uh, 132. Nice. Let's see how we do with the JK Steely. 21 3.785. 3.786. 3.6915. 3.755. 3.569. 3.569. 3.569. 3569 best, no crashes, easy to drive. They're fun. 104.853. Here's another way to demonstrate the speed difference. Carrera 132, NSR 132 with 25K Sidewinder motor, and the JK steel car. We're going to do a drag race. We'll have them all in the same lane, receiving the same power. 218.952. 218.952. 218.952. 218.952. 218.952. 
Uh, we also enjoy running a whole different class. We never race these cars against each other um, with the uh, JK Steel cars. But there is a car which, although different and drives very different, um, is a competitor. And surprisingly, that's the other JK Steel chassis car. Very similar in terms of chassis, except that the this car has no uh, gears at all. It's direct drive. Now let's test drive the direct drive steel chassis JK car. Go! 3.316. Four point zero one, three point five nine four, ninety four point zero one seven, three point seven one five. Another notable thing about these uh, direct drive cars is just how quiet they are. Here's a Revo slot for comparison. And an NSR. On our Grand Prix track, it's possible to get a NSR or similar car with uh, a fast motor and a lot of magnet close to the times that we get with the steel chassis car. But if you crash it, you'll probably break it. Like that. Steel chassis cars are easier to drive fast, and if you crash one, you're unlikely to do any damage. If you do eventually beat up a Lexan body, there are dozens available and they're inexpensive. Now let's take a look at what makes these steel chassis cars tick. Um, by weight, the angle winder car, 86 grams. The direct drive car, also 86 grams. That compares to our <clears throat> now wingless and a NSR at 91 grams and a typical now wingless and mirrorless uh, Carrera at 102. So they're a bit lighter. Um, of course, the body is removable with these clips. I like to use my uh, butter knife to remove them. Clips out, and we find that the body with clips weighs 9 grams. So that's part of it, is the bodies are very, very light. The uh, chassis, of course, is uh, stainless steel. Uh, it has multiple moving panels that can slide and tilt. Um, very high quality uh, gears and uh, uh, precision axles and bushings. Everything is really solid, no slop at all in the rear. Uh, of course, the tires are quite soft. They're sponge. Um, these car, these tires work well on wood or on our Carrera track, although we do like to use a little bit of track honey uh, just to keep the dust down. Uh, if you do run on a, on a track that collects dust as opposed to uh, uh, or excuse me, that allows dust to come up on the tires rather than staying on the track, um, then you'll need to clean well because these tires will definitely pick it up. Uh, the front wheels are, are silly. They're just little, um, little rubber discs. They're there just to fill the rule that uh, once said that you had to have half-inch diameter front wheels. They don't actually do anything on the car. Um, that's why we have uh, stickers on some of them to represent the front wheels and give something of a scale appearance. Um, the guide is a, uh, a full-size commercial-style guide 
with the uh, soldered on uh, leads. And uh, they come with a large copper uh, braid as you would find on a commercial track. Uh, we supply ours with the smaller um, braid. We think it gives lower friction after all the car is running on the rear wheels and the braid. The front wheels don't support anything. So we think uh, the narrower braid works better on Carrera track with your narrow stainless uh, rails, uh, less friction, and uh, um, that's all you need. Uh, we also find that we don't get very much uh, wear to the braid at all. So that's your angle winder. The um, direct drive car, of course, um, very similar except the uh, direct drive motor, like so, with no uh, gears at all. Uh, one critique of the direct drive uh, car, uh, we find that because that motor is working pretty hard at, at a one-to-one -one gear ratio, um, they do tend to warm up a bit, and um, it's not a car that you're going to drive for 15 minutes at a time. If you do, the, the motor may slow down as it overheats. Uh, we haven't had one fail, uh, but they do, uh, they do heat up. So they're normally fine for races where you run three minute heats with one minute in between. Uh, they'll do eight of those in succession, but um, long runs, maybe not so much. Uh, one more thing, uh, the, uh, the uh, direct drive cars do have some magnetic downforce. Let's see how much. All right, we have, 84 grams weight, we'll zero that out, and 119 downforce. Um, the angle winder car, we zero that out, has just five grams of downforce, almost none. Uh, by comparison, our uh, souped up NSR, uh, has five hundred and ninety five five hundred and eighty four grams of downforce that's excessive, but that's what it takes to go nearly as fast as the no magnet angle winder car and the uh Carrera club car with half its magnets removed um, clocks in at Let's see. We're touching down there. Well, it's telling me 78 grams of downforce. Uh, I'm a little suspicious about that as I think, uh, well, maybe it is 77 uh, gra uh, grams of downforce. From its magnet. Of course, I recognize that scale purists may be horrified at the uh, appearance of these cars. Uh, after all, the bodies are uh, optimized for speed. Um, this one has had a uh, vacuum-formed interior added, uh, which which helps. Uh, they don't normally come with those. Uh, it also has had uh, added wheel stickers, uh, the Omni Slot Box sticker, the um, Central Arkansas Racers of Slot Cars, our club logo, and the Slot Car Clubhouse logo have been added. Um, the standard bodies come with the numbers on them. Uh, and the, this uh, flame pattern, uh, which is nicely executed, um, uh, is available in a number of different colors. Uh, on the interchangeable bodies for these chassis. Uh, the, some of them, and they're getting hard to find now, uh, I think they no lo they're no longer in production, but there uh, is a series um, of JK2300 cars that have um, much more detailed uh, decals on them, <clears throat> which uh, pretty well represent the uh, real car, if uh, slightly distorted, but uh, still, uh, I think that's not a bad-looking uh, car, and um, we'll uh, be sending these two to MP Slot so Massimo can uh, 
see what kind of times he gets on his track and how he feels about really fast slot cars. Thanks for visiting the Slot Car Clubhouse. Please like and subscribe. And if you can visit, please come and see us in person. We'd love to have you all here. Bye for now.